So let's start with the, the absolute basics, right? What do we know about plastics? Well, a lot of the, um, the knowledge we have about the plastic around us actually comes from industry because they have very good information about the amount of plastic produced over the last 50 years. Before 1950s, there really wasn't any plastic. It's a very recent discovery, and it has taken on. It is one of the most successful discoveries of the last century, maybe, in some ways, because this graph behind me shows the amount of plastic produced every single year from 1950 to 2010. In the last 60 years, we've gone from essentially zero to now 300 million metric tons of plastic in the ocean. And this is an exponential increase. In the next 10 years, we'll be producing more plastic than in all of the last century. In the year 2035, we'll have doubled the amount of plastic that we've produced so far. So we're really only going to go up. There's really nobody in industry in, um, who thinks that this is going to level off. Partly because plastic is such a useful material that we can use all around us, this is just going to make, um, uh, be more and more. Boeing now makes its airplanes out of plastic. So what do we use the plastic then for? Yes, we, may, we use it to make plastics, of course, but most of the plastic, as you would expect, is used for packaging. 40% or so globally of all the plastic is used for packaging. Um, and then here you can see the other bits. There's quite a bit in building and construction. That is, in some ways, of course, plastic that's pretty much locked away. That will not very quickly go into our ocean, except for if, if, um, if, if houses break down or so. But, and that is why mostly we are worried about the, uh, the packaging part of all the plastic. So what happens then? Let's focus really about this packaging um, issue. What does it make out of? Um, and there was a great report by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation last year. They tried to estimate what happens to our plastic globally in our value chain. How does plastic move through our economy? And they show, uh, oh no, no, first, what are really the types of plastic that are out there? So there's a bit of PET, there's a bit of PVC, there's a bit of PPP. Uh, I, there's a lot of abbreviations here, of course. I'm not a chemist. I really wouldn't really very much know what all of these are. But again, you see that there's a lot of plastics that are roughly the same magnitude of use. So we have a very, very diverse problem here. It's not just one type of plastic. There's all this whole range, this rainbow of plastics. And that makes it, um, that's one of the reasons it's so hard. So let's go back to the, um, the Ellen MacArthur Foundation report. And that's, they did an analysis of where all the plastic goes. And they found that um, of all the packaging plastic, globally there's something like 78 million metric tons produced and wasted. So 78 million metric tons or so um, is wasted every year of packaging. Now, out of that 78 million metric tons, 40% or so gets landfilled, and 14% gets incinerated. Now, both of those, of course, are not very good, um, and you wouldn't really want to landfill all your plastic, and probably you also don't really want to incinerate all your plastic. Remember, if you burn plastic, you end up with CO2. So incinerating plastic, while it might be a good solution because it provides us with energy, it will enhance the greenhouse effect and it will exacerbate climate change. So neither of these is particularly um, wishful, I would say. But it's much worse what happens with 32% of all our plastic. 32%, almost a third of plastic globally, plastic packaging, ends up in our environment directly. That is an enormous amount of plastic. And that is, to be honest, quite shameful, I would say. But it gets worse. So the rest, you would say, is then recycled. 14% of all pla uh, plastic packaging globally is collected for recycling. They would say that that's fantastic. Except for, if you now look at what happens to that 14%, only 2% is properly recycled. In our current recycling industry, four percentage points off the 14%. So that is 28% of the plastic is actually lost. That is 
what they call process losses. That's essentially plastic that is collected for packaging but never actually recycled. It just gets into the environment again.